Good morning all. Welcome back to this unit 5. <coughs> In previous session we have discussed about the uh, how, um, what are the different kind of services which have been provided in the Amazon Web Services. Right now we have chosen with the another uh, um, vendor which is providing, which is a joint vendor in the real time environment, uh, Microsoft Azure, uh, which is providing all kind of cloud uh, computing services which is created mainly with the uh, building with this uh, Microsoft team, testing only all kind of deployment and managing your applications and the services throughout uh, the global network can be managed with this uh, um, data center can be done with this uh, software as a service SaaS, platform as a service PaaS and infrastructure as a service IAS. So supporting many different uh, programming language and the tools and the framework which have been helped out this Microsoft uh, techniques, it will be running with the third party software of the particular system. The announcement or the launching of the Microsoft Azure vendor have been done in the October 2008 as a code name of Project Red Dog. After that, it had been released as the full uh, beta versions in the February 1, 2010 as a window Azure. Now the name has been evolved and have been changed. Different kind of uh, services have been in, uh, incorporated and added, appended, uh, and it has been renamed with the Microsoft Azure on March 25, 2014. So, what are the different kind of roles which we are going to set up with this uh, Microsoft Azure? What are the different kind of uh, techniques which have been included? What are the uh, services which we are going to provide in this Microsoft or including, uh, including um, um, the engine policies, including your web services, including your storage, everything it will be the setup same like the different vendors which are, which are providing with the AWS, which are provided with the Google. Same like the application, it's a runtime applications which you are going to uh, run in this the cloud platform. With the, your user ID password you are going to log in with. By which we are going to assess with your computing skills. That is uh, the load balance with the Windows Server uh, computations and the policy engines that allows you to create the particular uh, or uh, different uh, managing uh, virtual machines or the servers which have been enrolled with the web roles and the uh, work roles of that particular administrator. The web role in this virtual machine will be running based upon the Microsoft IAS web service which it will be going to accept and will be responding with the HTTP protocol according to the request which we are going to provide. So the working role can accept and, and respond to particular IAS component of that particular virtual machine. So the working role can be communicated with this uh, Azure storage to through some direct connections with the client. So based upon this, Amazon are having the storage capacity. Amazon are, are concerned with these uh, virtual machine techniques, which are non-relational storage of the large-scale storage, which is which is present in this Azure. So Azure have the storage service which have led to create and drive some of the binary lar uh, larger objects which have been manipulated to contain this uh, Azure storage using the REST app. API is nothing, REST is nothing, it stands for the uh, representation of, uh, of state transfer in the architectural, architectural style that is defi defining your set of uh, constraints to be used in the uh, constraints which have been created with the web services, which is based upon the standards of HTTP request and it is uh, it can be independently uh, done or with, it can be independently stored with a different kind of get and put. Uh, operations which is modified with the post and we can remove or we can delete your request according to the um, services which we are going to use. So same like I mean, uh, Azure also have been stored or uh, Azure also having playing with the same uh, structures which have the uh, Amazon uh, simple uh, storage services. Uh, Azure is also provided with this um, put in process with the Azure hypervisor that is said to be the Hyper-V, which is running on the Windows Server 2008. So configuration have, can be made with the instance of Windows, which is running on the particular uh, administrations or uh, all the services. Based upon this, the architecture of that particular uh, Microsoft Azure have been uh, founded or made with the foundation layer, which have been developed with the services and can build with some of the scalable applications. 
and these services will be computing to the storage network and will identify it or it can indicate with the different kind of management tied with the, together with the middle middleware uh, app that is said to be the app fabric this scalable computing environment have the microsoft data centers and will be associated through this windows azure ma uh, management portal which can be developed with the different environment based upon the machine based upon the testing purpose which we are going to provide with so that diagrammatic this diagrammatic represent, representation will be incorporated with that uh, content which we have been discussed with till now check with this diagram right uh, right now it have the two component one one is the component which is having the platform of the uh, managing managing the portal another one is we are having the application form so the local development environment is having the different tools which is working with the uh, with the uh, development of that particular tool we can work or the windows also having the app fabric which is provided with the different uh, secured level of sql uh, server secured level of database server secured level of storage secured level of network all kind of management portal can be provided with this computing engine right so the computing engine will have the windows uh, azure compute and the storage engine will be provided with the two, two storages one is the azure storage as well as with the sql storage based upon this connection connectivity with the computer and storage we, we will be also provided with the network storage and the identity storage network storage is nothing but the azure con con content uh, and the fabric services is the bus which is going to transfer between the storage as well as the computer identity so the app fabric access will have control over all your content delivery network which is going to catch with this particular performance based upon that the data have been marketed with the or, or marketed with the applications towards the global services so the storage all kind of the storage have been done in the sql view the sql view have been maintained with the relational database services which have been hosted on the windows azure so these services will be extended with the capability of SQL service to, to, to the cloud which is provided with the developer based upon the scalable, based upon your highly available and based upon your fault tolerance with relational database. So assessing your SQL uh, database will be either have the Windows Azure Cloud or we have the uh, location that is provided in the Azure Cloud for which the um, interface will be exposed with the SQL server to the applications. Uh, which have the transparent way of uh, providing all kind of control over your database fine so access control is the major part which is running with the tablet data stream with this standard application and the program can be interfaced with the um, ADO network that means dark network where the data access technology from the Microsoft uh, uh, .NET will be providing communications with the relational and non-relational system which have common set of uh, component Fine. On SQL Azure system, we have the data is implemented by the services layer and which is provisioning uh, and giving all kind of bills which is connected to the routing services and these services are logically a part of service instance which is managed with the SQL service, uh, SQL fabric. Right. So that we have contained with the database middleware that cons constitute the infrastructure which have been deployed in the Microsoft database. Right. So this infrastructure will be providing you the Azure the clear picture about how the data can be transformed uh, with the uh, tabular data streams TDS and ODBC or ADO.NET with the HTTP protocol. So these uh, have two layers. The infrastructure is um, divided into two parts. One is the service layer and another one is the platform layer. Service layer will be provided with the provisioning and building, marketing and connecting of all kind of routers. And platform layer will be provided with the SQL service and SQL Azure basics and the management part. So the main part which we are provided with the, this services is the app fabric is the middleware which is going to develop or which is going to de deploy and manage all kind of applications in the cloud so integrating this application with the cloud uh, services all kind of optimization uh, can be done with the infrastructure which is supporting or which is going to scaling and have the higher availability with the sandbox and multi-tenancy and the state which is going to manage with these dynamic address resolution protocol will will have the routing with the App fabric so that access control can be 
have or it can have the greater degree of flexibility in the terms of availability in terms of security so that there's azure protocol will pattern with the reliable communications and the channel can have this guarantee to deliver all kind of uh, abilities to secure your component with that particular applications okay so all the references uh, which we have been uh, uh, displayed here have content more than that which we have been discussed with today so kindly go through this uh, references and make uh, much more knowledgeable uh, in this particular part which is very important for us to uh, focus upon with the real time environment okay i hope you have been uh, enjoyed this session and you have been uh, understood the concept which has been taught today thank you for joining have a nice day thank you